in San Jose this morning. The homeowner he ran into had skills to defend himself and his family. Case News Ken Pritchett live in San Jose now with a story that didn't end well for that attempted burglar. Ken? Well, San Jose police took this burglar into custody, and he might have been glad to be safely in police hands. Here's the homeowner who says it happened like this. It was around 11 this morning. Brian Kuhn forgot something and had to come home with his five-year-old daughter, Jaxie, in tow. He opened the door, then closed it, making his way to the dining room when he saw him. Walked in roughly about here, and uh, a gentleman was inside my house. A gentleman? Yeah. <laughs> if that burglar had seen this shirt, he would have known he was in trouble. Brian is trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and teaches mixed martial arts and kickboxing. So I grabbed him right here, and he pulled away, and he had a pry bar in his right. hand. Instead of the shirt, Brian says the burglar saw this, several blows to his head. The room spinning as Brian kneed it down below, with the burglar's head smashing its way through the dining room window. Then he was dragged to the front door. I grabbed him and I put him in a chokehold and we went outside. Neighbors came out and snapped this picture of Brian on top of the suspect. Patricia McHarris lives across the street and heard the commotion. He was holding him down waiting for the police. And it was pretty scary. <laughs> the man's face bloodied, cuffed by an officer who lives two doors down and then taken away by police. The burglar broke in through this window into Jaxie's room. The house was empty until Brian returned to find a burglar who clearly picked the wrong home. Just sort of relieved that it ended the way it did, you know, that it didn't end badly for me or my family. Well, Brian says he's had several break-ins in recent months or in recent times, and he's hoping that today's incident puts an end.